So this is definitely a talker. Mm. That's why I put it in two cents. A school in Alabama has taken the drastic step of removing stall doors mm -hmm. in some of the boys' bathrooms, all to keep kids from vaping. Right. At the Wilson High School, uh, the principal, Gary Horton, says every day one of the students will sneak off to a bathroom to vape. Mm -hmm. And he says two weeks ago, a student was found passed out in wow. one of those stalls. So parents are taking issue with the school's solution of removing the bathroom doors and saying it's too drastic. As a parent, personally, I, I think that's a little excessive. I don't like it. They take their only private place in the school that they can do their business. And the parents said a better solution would be to have an adult in the hallway or the bathroom to make sure no one is vaping. The principal says the door removals could be just temporary as they work to figure out other solutions. Mm, I'm in favor of the no bathroom stall doors. Are you kidding me? No, I think it's And you it's have right. three boys. What if you... Oh, of course, yeah, especially because I have three boys. If you need privacy. Ah, they don't need it. I don't think so. Now, uh, when I was in the military, in boot camp, you had, you, it was a little unsettling to get used to that, but there were no uh, stalls on any of the doors. You had to sit and do your business, and people would be walking by, and that's the way it is. <laughs> Why? Because you couldn't be trusted. So if you can't be trusted, we take the doors off. really is what it is. Are you serious? <laughs> yes. Now I yes. have this mental image of you. <laughs> You. Of all things, that's what you take away is me sitting on the toilet <laughs> and walking by. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it's. I am just a very uh, visual person, but that's interesting because you signed. But you signed up for that, and then there's there's mm -hmm. children. I don't know. Well, if they stop vaping, I'm sure the doors will come back. 